Okay, folks, Tuesday, the 23rd of August, 2022. Hope everyone's doing well. You can see I am in a new spot just temporarily for a couple of weeks while uh, the builders are getting some work done on the new office. Uh, but anyway, let's cut straight into it. So we've, we've had uh, some pretty uh, hard downside yesterday on the spoos, really since uh, going back to uh, last, well, last week. Um, you know, the selling really commenced and kind of looking over at the spoos, uh, look at spoos, oil, uh, Bitcoin here. So uh, starting off with the spoos, uh, you can see here that really we've come up on trend here. Now I've actually got to upload some uh, or reload some data here, but essentially uh, I might just try and do this in the background while we're um, while we're looking at oil might be the same situation on oil, but um Let's go over to oil here for now. So, uh, well, that's loading for spoo. So for oil, we have this sort of area here from essentially like just after the invasion of Ukraine. Um, there's a little bit of an area here where, you know, we've dipped back into just below that invasion top a couple of times and found buying, really good buying. So this sort of area here from 82, 87 to 85, 64, is, uh, which is on... Uh, what are we on the V22, which is the October 22 contract uh, back adjusted now. You can see we just been finding more buyers there last Thursday, bid on up, uh, targeting up into what would be the 50 EMA here. Uh, you can see at the 95.23s and really the 2011-2012 lows uh, sitting there at 95 spot 69s. You know, fundamentally, what we've had is actually the the uh, Saudi energy minister came out uh, there and has has said that because the market is not paying enough attention to the fund underlying fundamentals, that they're actually looking at cutting production. So, Joe Biden, thanks for the visit. Thanks for asking for us to release more oil. But number one, we can't. And number two, the market is not responding to the actual underlying situation. And therefore, they're looking to cut. And so what we have is we're up 1.35% on WTI this morning. Um, you know, you can see kind of where the comments uh, kind of came out yesterday, turning the market around around four o'clock. Um, you know, really, really good response here from oil to that. So it's easy to see not only the 95 levels, but actually, I think if they do, you know, as, as we might get a rhetoric from OPEC to bring us into cuts, we could be looking at 107s here uh, easily. And actually, you know, is this, you know, do, if they do bring in cuts, is this going to be bringing us to 150? Without a shadow of a doubt, I'd say yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. I think we are, we have been underweight for two reasons on oil. Um, number one, the dollar has been super strong. If you look at the spread of front, front month WTI to uh, spot rate dollar, um, that spread has just been such a, a really good guide for this, given we have such a strong dollar. Um, and the other thing is, Russia is actually producing more oil than it did before the invasion. So therefore, you've got a certain amount of supply put back on there. Now, does that mean that, you know, the chart is right and the Saudis are wrong, that the market uh, is undersupplied? Uh, no, I think the only one truth we have in the markets is price action and the chart that we're looking at. So I think uh, I think until Saudi cut or talk more about cutting as OPEC, um, we can probably languish around a uh, bit below 100 bucks. But as soon as they get a bit tougher on that talk, I think we're going to be looking at uh, much higher prices here on oil. All right, let's get over onto the spoos and kind of see this uh, trend down on the daily. And you can see here, uh, you know, from the highs, all time highs, 4801s in around there, 05s, um, you know, trending down to the to the pullback that we had in uh, March, end of March here. And then, you know, March, end of March, really tough time here for the market, thinking that we were going to bounce and push on to new highs, but very hard to see under a tightening Fed. Of course, that the Fed was kind of telegraphing to the markets in and around this area here that uh, the cycle was going to begin. And uh, so there's kind of one, one or two last hurrahs into the new all-time highs, and then we just sold down since. So um, really important to note where the, the Fed were signaling there. So um, 
you know, and then of course Michael Bury was selling in March as well, clearing his portfolio. So it's easy to see as we come into this trend, certain amount of selling begins. But I don't, I actually don't buy it. I actually don't buy it. I think we need to trade on this trend here. We need to hit on this target. And I think we're going to be trading back at uh, Spoo's 4320s probably within the next uh, two weeks, uh, if not this week. Now, fundamentally, do we have that? Well, I think I, I don't see the shocks. I mean, you know, lockdowns in China may affect this. It's certainly been affecting the oil price as well as maybe a third factor for why we're, why we're you know, underpriced on oil. Um, but, you know, I think we can easily come back here onto this trend and then we can kind of think about what is the picture at that point. Uh, so for me, I'm buyer on these lows um, back to at least 4206s and actually up to 4307s. Um, it's going to take a breakdown really on the 4097s uh, for me to, uh, or probably on the lows of today, let's call it that. Uh, for me to be looking for just the the the, the, the bear continuation, uh, so you know we've retraced to be only about eleven percent um, down on the year so far. So of course we were twenty five percent down on the year uh, on the lows here. So yeah, uh, that's the spoos. Uh, what does that translate to for a trade? Uh, well, you got the one hundred EMA here acting as support forty one fourteens um, today. Uh, will we test? I, I don't know. I don't think we need to test there, actually. Um, on oil, I think a reversal down onto 90 spot 09s, pick up some bars and then look for the longs. Um, or, you know, that 95 spot 69s target and the 100 EMA is up there. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's going to be it, really. And then Bitcoin, to finish things off, I know I've kept you on a cliffhanger there on Bitcoin, but as, from what I've seen over the weekend, uh hasn't been great um so let's see coming into friday saturday yeah friday lots of selling here into saturday sunday not much really just a bit of the dip buying um a little bit of relief from that selling uh so you know i think we may look at a pullback on the r3s that's 22 297 uh, sorry two 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 ninety sevens yeah 22.297s for today's trade. Uh, looking at um, this on the bigger chart, on the bigger chart here, uh, let's just go in and see what we can see. Yeah, a lot of trend support here coming in as of the lows of uh, yesterday, or sorry, last week. And uh, I think we can get bid on up here and um, back to, well, probably probably up to about the 23.043. So sorry, you just there, PJ. Afar in the background, he is uh, not having a good morning. All right, so that's it for me for another pre US session. Uh, please do uh, click the like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.